Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. Welcome to New Cycle. So this game is a strategy city builder game. It's um, set in a post-apocalyptic world and we have to build humanity from scratch. Um, and I have played about 20 minutes of this game just to get familiar with the settings and all that sort of jazz, but I don't know too much about the game to spoil it. So let's do a new game in new cycle. We can go sandbox. It's peaceful without threats. I think we should probably just go the campaign, which is sort of the, um, I guess, normal experience, if you will. We've got the standard timeline. It allows us to set up from the start or the developed timeline. We're going to go from the start. And here we get to choose which kind of map we want. So we've got the meadow, which is less settleable set, land, rich agriculture and water sources, rich forest resources. The Chandra has little space for agriculture. There's scarce forest resources and harsh weather conditions. So that sounds like a pretty hard one. The step is uh, scarce water sources, mild and moderate precipitation, rich mineral deposits. Um, I think we should probably try the meadow first. We do have also this mountain that it's coming soon, obviously, maybe as uh, this game moves through early access. So let's start with the meadow. We're going to leave it on normal difficulty for the game and let's start our game. Okay, so here we are in the meadow. Look at this detail, it's very pretty. We've got some rocks, we've got our trees. Um, also, we've actually got layers here where we can see where the water is lying. So there's obviously big pools of water around here and then up here as well. We've also got the wind layer. I don't know exactly what this is for, but I'm going to guess that perhaps it's for um, putting down a wind turbine. We've got the mining layer too, which shows us where there's mining resources. Oh, there's a big bad boy over here. We've got the fertility layer as well. So clearly we do not want to build on this section right here because this is where our fertile land is for our farms. So I'm thinking with everything considered this is quite windy here i'm cons i think we should build sort of in this section here and see how we got on with that okay so we need a main hall which is uh what does it say administrative center of the small community which is cool so let's pop this one down I don't know why that rock is showing that it's highlighted. That's kind of strange. But let's put this down. I'm not sure if this road will connect just here. I see those uh, like triangular sections that are poking out from the main building. That indicates, I think, where the road is. So I'm going to pop it next to the road because I had a little bit of issue trying to connect it up. So if I pop it ne quite next to the road, I'm not sure that it will do it. Okay, so we've got our headquarters here. We've got our 35 population, we've got no knowledge. So, we've got a little camp here already. Where's another camp? There's one there too. Very cool. Okay, so let's start putting some buildings down. So, we need our field camp, which will be doing our iron, stone and logs. So, um... Oh, there's a ruin there. That's cool. Got some water here. Um, there's lots of wood there. There's iron and there is stone. I think we should put our guys in here. And the dudes will come out and start, um, start building that. Where are they? There they are. Look, they're taking some stuff from the resource center. Who are you? Holy John. Very cool. Okay. Just speed up a tiny bit so they get onto doing that. We also need a gathering camp. That's for mushrooms, fish, and meat. So we've got meat in the forest here. We've got some mushrooms. We've got fish here too. Hmm. Let's see. We can get 
mushrooms and fish if we put this right here. Let's try it. We'll, we'll pop it there. Let's try it. We do have a message here waiting for us. Welcome to New Cycle. You are now the governor of this little community. It's been nearly half a century since the first solar flare. In the initial moments of the catastrophe, we lost our entire technological infrastructure, our means of global sourcing, and almost everything that we can share as a civilization. The following years were humanity's darkest, and civilization fell. So it says that we can continue without the tutorial. I think that we should continue without the tutorial for this. Um, and if I'm doing anything that's really silly, you guys, could, I'm sure, will let me know. <laughs> so we'll put some dudes into making, uh, getting, gathering the wood, gathering the stone. Where's that other one here? So they're working on that gathering camp. What else can we do? We need a well. Definitely need a well. So we can see here how much water we will get if we put the, water, uh, the well in certain places. So let's pop the well on this side of the, the quote unquote road. Because it, it'll need to be close to where people are going to live eventually. So we do need to actually start um, our development. So we've already got this one, establishment. We need to do basic construction next, but what we need is we need um, these um, pieces of lumber. And to do that, we need to build our lumber mill. So where do we want to put the lumber mill? I don't want to build too much in this area because we're starting to get on the fertile land. So I'm actually going to put it over this side. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but let's try it. Uh, I don't want to take off that little camp. It's kind of cute. Let's put it here right next to our main building. So we can't build our little roads just yet uh, because we don't have the lumber. All right, let's, gather, let's assign three gatherers. So they're going to do fish and they're going to do mushrooms, which is good. So this ruin it says a vanishing remnant of the old world may still hold gifts for us with skilled hands and rich oh, sorry and right resources it may even be brought back to life <gasps> that's cool we don't have any options for the ruin just yet i'm wondering if that's because we haven't um completed the development that we need just yet okay so let's put some guys into creating the lumber It's going to take a little while. Okay. So how much did we need for the development? Was it five? Oh god, 24? Yeah, a little bit more than I was thinking. <laughs> we'll speed up time. Can we do anything else while we're waiting? I don't think so. Alright, so we're really looking for that um, development. So we're waiting for our 24 planks of wood. Alright, and then next we'll have to put our next water probably over this side here. Mining. This big kind of node over here too, that'll be cool. Yeah, and the fertility la layer, we definitely... Yeah, don't want to be building over here because that's where our farms can go. So, what have we got? We've got 34 lumber. I'm just going to slow down time a little. Alright, let's do basic construction. We're going to get stockpile, soup kitchen and simple meal. And then next we'll do the living standards. Okay, so that's started. We've also got this um, knowledge... Uh, is it just knowledge or is it knowledge points yeah just knowledge so we gain knowledge as we go through the game um, you can see that generated per day is 35 from all the workers that we have so we'll need that to we'll need that to gain um, extra skills through those resources tree all right let's connect up some of these roads here we go 
Okay, that's starting to put roads with our electricity poles because we will run electricity eventually. This one, I believe, does that need a road? Doesn't. Okay, that's that's handy. Can we see anybody fishing? No, they mustn't come out to do that. They're gathering though, I believe. Look at them go. Oh no, I might be wrong. We maybe might see. Oh, what were they doing? Gathering as well. They might. We might see some people doing some fishing. Who knows? Okay. So, oh. It's almost gone already, the mushroom. They haven't even started fishing yet. Okay. Oh, strangers. Okay. Imminent, uh, immigrant group. The more our settlement grows, the more attention we'll get from passers-by, and the more people will be willing to join us, both, both more frequently and in larger groups. Okay. So they ask to join us in this for workers. Yeah, all right. Sounds wonderful. Alright, so we've got our basic construction done. We need our living standards because otherwise people are going to get a little bit annoyed if they don't have somewhere to live. Alright, so this is our kitchen. I'm going to put the kitchen... Yeah, maybe on this side. Let's see. And that should butt up to the road, I hope. And we've also got our stockpile. I will break my rule and probably put the stockpile on this side of the road. Where's the little road thing? Oh, there it is. Just simply because we've got our, um, like, work, I guess, workstations on this side. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Alright, so we now apparently have living standards completed. So in the next tab, we've got community needs, etc., but this up here, it says cycle two, new iron age. So we're not quite there yet for the development of that. Uh, so let's start putting some shacks down because then our people will be very happy with us. <laughs> Hopefully anyway. Um, right. So uh, yeah, why not? Let's put them near the kitchen. I'm going to make our little road up here. Unless I don't have enough. Okay, I don't have enough resources to do that. That's alright, we can wait. Okay, let's get some people in the kitchen. So we've got, we can make um, mushroom dishes. And we can also make some fish dishes as well. We'll do the mushrooms for now. Because we've got 774 of them. <laughs> We see. Okay, we don't have any fish at the moment, so that's why it's not, it's not visible in that tab. Oh, look at them working! This game is very cool. I really like it so far. Can't click on that person who's just sweeping. Right. We're doing the stockpile. How are you guys going? You going okay? Alright, let's speed up time a little. Because we need those guys to make the lumber. Now, I think each shack can hold 10 people. I think it is. Together stronger. Oh, thank you, Bethany. Okay, so they need a lot of different... Um, <laughs> entertainment, health, and security that, uh, you know, to make them happy. Well, sorry guys, we're not really that equipped just yet. I'm going to have to wait a little. Alright, let's build a road through here, and we'll build a couple more shacks. There we go. And we'll do... Yeah, we'll do another one on this side. There we go. And I might run a road down this way as well, I think. But let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't think I have the resources to do it, but that's the plan. So everything's coming together quite nicely. Let's speed up time again. 
Look at him working hard, digging at the dirt, or whatever he's doing. <laughs> A new cycle, we've reached the new Iron Age. Okay. So these are all the different things that we can now research. So let's go to the development tree. We can do community needs, hunting, metalwork techniques, and the power grid. Um, I'd like to do metalwork techniques actually, but we need 860 knowledge. I think if we wait a day, we'll probably get that. Let's hope so. Maybe not. Maybe two days. Hopefully they can hold on. Oh, look, that mushroom. Uh, the mushrooms are depleted now. Okay, and we can't actually fish just yet. So we must. that must be part of the development. Yeah, so for hunting. So we'll need to actually... Um, get our metal working techniques ASAP, still don't have enough knowledge, and then we can do the hunting, but we're okay, we've got 1,000, almost 1,200 mushrooms, so we should be okay. Have we got anything extra that we can put down so far? We've got the forge, we've got the smith, but that'll come with the next um, research. Ooh, an urgent matter, let's have a look. This is very much like uh, like Frostpunk with these sort of things, I feel, like these urgent matters and stuff. So, losing hope, a message from the workers. Our unstable living standards are about to consume us. We should strive to keep a close eye on the people's morale. If we don't maintain balance, we can do nothing but watch our home disintegrate. Do something to improve morale within a few days. Okay, we can do better for sure. Increase worker class morale above 40. Okay. I don't know if it'll go above 40, but um, we can try, certainly. 884, I think that's enough for our new... Yes. There we go. Metalwork techniques. Let's research that, please. That's great. So, let's look at the workers. Uh, the morale is at 5. Hmm. Okay, so I don't. So we get we need some entertainment, etc. I wonder how long we've got to actually complete this quest or this objective. It might be that there is no time, but um, I guess we'll see. Sophia McDonald, she's very hungry and she's thirsty. She's got low morale. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Sorry, Sophia. Oh, gosh, it looks like... Yeah, it is autumn. Does this look like snow that's falling at the moment? That's not going to be good. Oh, development completed. Okay, let's get some stuff down. So we need a forge to work the iron and copper ingots. We can't get... Uh, copper just yet but we can get the iron I'm not sure if our guys are going to want to live right next to this industry so let's put this industry up here I might leave a space for the road there yes let's do that I think is a good idea we'll put another set of residences here the shack More tools, less toil. Okay, working with iron. A message from the community. Chief, since we can now process metals, you can give us the means to make tools of our own so that we can see to our daily tasks. We can work without tools too, but this will tire us physically and mentally, and the more often we have to work without tools, the more likely we are to make mistakes and cause accidents. Of course, let's do it. It's in my plan, Sunny Jim. So we've got the forge going. Uh, let's have a look if I think... What's the other one? The smith? Let's put the smith right next to the forge. Well, that's a very long building. I think 
that will go with our road. Yeah, that I planned with the shelters. That's excellent. Oh no, it won't. Oh, that's okay. We can do this little curvy road thing. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, may as well connect this road up. Beautiful. Alright, so we're doing it. Look at this. So we've got our shelters here. Everybody loves living in this little uh, crap, <laughs> crap house. <laughs> um, yes, beautiful. All right, so Smith, no, sorry, not Smith, the Forge. Let's get some guys in there. And so we need iron ingots to make the Smith. That's okay, these guys are making. So what's the problem? So you don't have any iron ore. Okay, ah, oh, it's because we need to assign some guys here to actually mine the iron from the surrounds. There we go. There we are. It's pretty cool. So we've done that now. Wow, look at our bustling little settlement. I wonder if we'll get some extra people wanting to come and live live here. Jeez, that doesn't take long. I'm up to seven ingots already. It's not even on the fastest speed. Wow. Okay, beautiful. So what's here? So health? We're going down quite a bit. Low tool supply and it's winter. So wild mushrooms do not grow. Land cannot be cultivated. The season negativity affects public health by minus 20. What about the development tree? So we've got to wait for 22, uh, wep uh, not weapons, tools for the hunting. Got to wait for a little bit more knowledge for the community needs. We can do the power grid. I kind of want to wait for the power grid. I want to get the community needs, I think, next. I, I don't know. Or maybe hunting. But we've got to produce a lot of tools, though. So here's our smith getting produced. Ooh, they're working quickly on it. I don't think there's anything else that I can build while I'm waiting. Tavern, etc. Now we need to research those. Alright, it's the end of the year. Year one is over. Some of this year's highlights. <laughs> what have we got? Four new people joined. We didn't have anybody with disease and disaster. Um, we didn't have anyone dying. Had some renewable resources. And we got three new developments completed and 13 new structures. Beautiful. Oh, we can upgrade our main hall as well. Let me just get some, um, some dudes on making some tools though, please. So, all right, let's see. A more, I like how this pops up, by the way. This the, the game looks very pretty. A more secure shelter. Chief, a community center made up of just a few tents doesn't feel very secure. We can build something with our resources and crafting capabilities that won't topple in a gust of wind. Let's assign resources and take steps to strengthen the roof. Okay, that's fine. Let's make that happen. So, upgrade the main hall. Where's the main hall? This one here? Oh, we can get vegetables, herbs. All right. Oh, they upgraded the main hall by themselves. That's great. Here we got 20 stone, 60 lumber, 25 iron ingots. Okay, now everyone's complaining that there's no power. Right, so we have a way to fix that one. So we can do a power grid. Um... Let's do the power grid then. We're just awaiting a few extra tools. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I don't know if it'll go towards satisfying this and then take them away. I don't know. Okay. Anything else we can put down? I don't think so. Okay, so we will research the windmill. Don't know where it's going to go. 
Do I have to maybe put another... Oh, losing control. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Unrest. No good will come of this. Chief, we feel the need to give you a clear warning. For days we've been trying to live on rations that barely will our spoons. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Why must we stoop to such a life when we have all the resources we need to improve? Do you honestly find this acceptable? We expect you to fix this within 10 days. Do your duty before our patience wanes. Of course. I mean, I think we're going to be just fine in 10 days. Okay. Let's go back to development, see what we can do. Can we do the power grid? We can. Let's start researching that. Uh, okay, mushrooms have come back, so it's fine. It's not like we don't have any... It's not like we don't have food. And these guys are still making... Yeah, you're still making that. That's fine. So we're good. Oh, we're working with iron. We made our tools, I think. That's great. Yep. Excellent. Oh, objective completed. All is as it should be. Well done, Chief. Don't hesitate to do whatever you can to keep morale up. How wonderful. Okay, so distribute rations at the regular level for three days. I don't know what that means. Distribute rations. Is it fried meat, vegetable stew? Distribute rations. I don't know what that means. I'm hoping it just means continue to produce food. I don't know. Sure, successful ration distribution. All right, windmill. Okay, hang on. Before we place that one down, what else? Let's do the. Let's do the community needs. I don't know. I feel like that might be a good one, and then we'll do the hunting. Okay, where is our windmill? Here we are. Okay, so... Oh! Aha! We've got to use the... Yes, we've got to use the windy sections of the map. Oh, this is a good one because you get... I wonder if I can put windmills next to each other. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Or if you can't, they can't overlap. I don't know. There was a... I thought I got a, fu a full... There we go. So, let's connect this... This up as well. <gasps> oh no! First loss. A sad day for us all. Chief, we're no strangers to death. But this is the first time we've encountered it since we settled here, and it hurts even more. Andrew Powell died of illness, oh dear. Okay. And then we've got this man here saying, Sturdy roofs, a message from the community. Every one of us needs proper places to live. We have food and water, but sleeping at whatever nook, uh, nooks we can find each night doesn't help us. Okay. Build three shacks. All right, matey, let's build some more shacks here. Here we go. No worries, everyone. Everybody will have a roof over their head. I didn't realize that there were homeless people. 28 of them are sickly. Oh, dear. So where can I see? Housing is at 100% though. So I wasn't sure about that. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Is it full? Not enough resources. What are you missing? Lumber. Okay, is that because... Maybe I need to make another field camp? We can try that. I wonder if they can go together. I guess we'll see, won't we? 
Oh, okay, we've got to build a cemetery and a tavern. So the cemetery... Just so, I'm just going to check the layers again. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's build the cemetery close to where people live. Um... I'm guessing it's going to give them a little bit of a, I don't know about a morale boost, but it can't hurt, surely. Let's do that there. So have any of you guys tried new cycle? I'm, I'm liking it so far, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So objective successfully completed. That was our houses okay this hit distribute rations at the regular level for three days i don't know what that means i obviously haven't put that building down yet um it could be that it's in the tavern i don't know oh i see right so those residences will be happy with the tavern there okay great that gives me a little bit more to work on in terms of like a settlement outlay okay so we've got somebody wanting to speak to us a scout from another land oh this is a message from strangers greetings chief we are representatives of a small community our expeditions lead led us to your settlement and we were delighted to see such an advanced community here we would like to barter with you and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership in these challenging times, every link between the, uh, those who have goods to spare is a boon. What do you say? Um, yeah, of course, that'd be great. Thank you. I'm just saying yes to everything at the moment. Oh my god, another request? The sound of stability. We rapidly evolved from a small camp into a proper village. People are the cornerstone of a fast-growing, stable community like ours. Their needs and their well-being should be prioritised above all else. Let's try and raise the morale of the workers above a certain threshold. Okay. Above 70. Okay, well, we've got a graveyard coming. We've also got the tavern coming. So I think I think we should be pretty good, actually. Uh, where's the lumber mill? We've been eating raw food? What? Wait, let us wait a second. Have you not been cooking? Simple meal. Okay, production zero per day. Why? Hang on, let's pause. Why? So 30 efficiency. The sum of the factors that affect the efficiency of the output. Workforce is 100, the sum of the factors that affect the building's current rate of production. Do I need to build another kitchen? Is that what you're telling me? Let's try. Soup kitchen. Okay, it's pretty... Ah. Uh... It's just okay I don't understand why the kitchen's not producing but okay let's put one there objective failed no okay all right so let's do our next research which is hunting So we've got the graveyard going. Oh, there's four people in the graveyard? E. I didn't realise it was that bad. <laughs> Alright. Wait a second. No workers? Why? Are you joking? Oh, there's no resources. Oh, <laughs> there's... Right. <laughs> there's no workers because I hadn't assigned them yet. <laughs> Will it help you if I put a road up to here? I don't know. Oh, I can't afford it anyway. So what's wrong here? You've got 
uh, development completed great. So not enough resources, totally get it. Oh, there's a strike in effect? Oh dear. Well, that's no good. Oh, Rita Sergeant died of illness? Oh no, okay, we really need to look at a, a hospital. How do we get that? So, cycle number three. Um, doesn't look like it's that. I don't know, I can't see further than that. Um, what does the tavern give anything good? <laughs> Drink, dairy. Okay. So, how much power do you put out? Uh, we've got 160. So production is, oh I see, is 400 and our consumption is 240. Alright, we've got some strangers. Yeah, sure, two workers come to join us. How many people are homeless? None by the looks of it, that's fine. So low distribution of food increases chance of sickness and low distribution of water. Hmm, okay, let's just pause for a second. How do I get... Oh, so is this the area that the, the water well will um, service? Is that what it does? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's interesting. So I'll have to put the water well... Okay, I think I get it. That's going to be... There's no... Like, that's a zero richness for water, though. Um, what will I do? I guess place it here. Let's place it here, see what happens. Okay, the merchant is ready to barter. Oh, is that you? Look at you. A foreign merchant. <gasps> Ooh. So you've got leather, meat, and fish. Oh, we've got basic tools to give. Great. Is that supposed to be me? Cool. I didn't choose any, but that's cool. So let's give away... We've got 115. Can we give them all away? I don't know. Um, what are you... Let's take some... Yeah, let's take some fish. Uh, oh, I see. Left... Oh, so shift is plus 25. Got you. There we go. 80 fish. Let's start with that. I don't know. Is that a good trade? I'm not sure. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I didn't get, do a good job? <laughs> what are you doing? Just sweeping the ground? Well done. All right. So we've got our tavern. And hopefully... We'll have this uh, water, new well, that, you know, gives us what we need as well. Alright, kitchen. Why don't you make the fish meals? Not enough workers. Okay, we'll have two in the kitchen. I mean, I, it should be fine. Maybe we'll take off the guys in that are working on the tools. So we do have simple meals, which is good. We've got enough electricity. We might need to keep an eye out on the this iron here. I don't know how long it takes for it to for it to replenish. Oh, what's wrong with you? What does that mean? That there's extra guys that or extra slots there that need to be filled? I don't know. Okay, so let's have a look at our development tree. So we've got everything on this one. So we need to wait till we're into cycle three, which is roots and branches. I'm not sure how to get into cycle three. Hopefully it will tell us when we need to know. 
Okay. Alrighty, so we have put down all of the buildings. It's a gathering camp. Looks like it's just doing the fish right now. I might put another gathering camp out to do meat and hide, because that would actually be quite useful to start making our clothes, I think. Yeah, that's good. That's fish and... Fish and meat. Let's try it there. Alright, what's this? No resources? Okay, fish. We'll just wait because the guys are about to start building this new one and they'll, they'll, they'll take care of it. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, there's no one in there collecting stone. I think that's okay. We've got a heap of stone. Oh, lost. Losing hope and urgent matter. Okay. So from the workers. Our unstable living standards are about to consume us again? Alright, let's do morale again. I thought I already had a quest for this. We do. We have to get it to 70. What are we on? Um... We're on 19. What does the workforce mean? Oh, I can't see it. Workforce, no more. One times. Oh, so I, have, I can tell them to work faster? Alright. So we really do need to get the morale up so that we can be much more efficient. 33 people are sick out of 35. Holy hell. Distribution. Tools distribution rate for 35 people per worker per day. So, what's affecting your health? Workforce conditions, food rate distribution, water distribution. Okay. So, let me see. How can I up this? water distribution. Let's up it to medium or regular. Oh, I see. Okay. Regular food distribution. New rules will take effect and influence the morale the next day. Got you. Okay. Let's do a regular for everything. I didn't understand that that was so low. All right. Now that we've worked that out, I feel like everyone will be much better. Won't they? So I didn't need that well there necessarily. That's okay. It's all learning. Alright, how is this little gathering spot going? We're almost there. Okay, cool. We ooh, we don't have any one. Okay. We, I need like... um. Oh, look at their names crossed out. That's pretty bad. <laughs> what I would like to do is take some people off possibly I'm going to take them off this lumber and I'm going to put them here instead so let's do three people for meat and hide that sounds good to me and then we can change that later anyway and this one this one I think we should maybe just do fish how about that let's try that instead of the mushrooms but I need to be careful because now I possibly need to change the food that we're making okay life in regulation chief our transition to settled life will bring with it dozens of issues that need to be resolved rules and regulations will be needed to keep everything in order and running smoothly as our leader it will be up to you to make the final decision we hope you can weigh the demands well and choose wisely you can be sure that we will support you as much as we can when you choose difficult paths. However, all the decisions you make will shape your, our community one step at a time. Always remember the burden you bear. Okay, I will do all that I can for our benefit. Okay, so 
We almost have our daily lives in order. We have secure housing, food to eat and duties to fulfill. We've come to believe that we're now entitled to some freedoms. We'll continue to comply with your assigned work schedules and perform our duties. However, anyone who doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work should be able to buy some extra rest by selling his share of food or some other supply. Huh. You should allow us to butter amongst ourselves. Surely you can give us this much. Um... All are free to trade what is rightfully theirs. I, I think that's fine. Yeah, why not? Uh, I think that's fine. Barter rights. All are free to trade what is rightfully theirs. So we lost five workers at each workforce type. So now we've only got 34 in our worker class. Ooh, look at them. They're up to 45 morale. Why don't I... Why don't I boost the food to extra? Why don't I boost the water? Why don't I just boost everything to extra for now? Why not? Let's see. We got fish coming in, which is awesome. Um, we got food being made. Uh, what's the other kitchen? They're still doing the mushrooms. I think that's fine for now. Jeez, they're going through them though. I'll tell you that. Okay, so we've got two of three for fish there. What are you guys doing? One of three for hunting. Um, that's fine, I feel. So, basically everybody lost one. Um, we're going to do maybe one person doing mushrooms. Nope. No, okay. I thought I took one off, but somebody... The people... Ah, oh, people are dying! Your house is falling apart. <laughs> Chief, we're wasting away. Don't expect us to sit until there's no one left to call this place home. <gasps> okay. Alright. Increase the population. Okay, everyone has babies when they're really happy. Let's just increase everybody's morale to really high. So... Let's see. Let's do food to double. Why not? We'll do water to double. Let's do the to tools to double as well. Let's see if that can help us. Alright, let's unpause. Can I make these houses better? So they've got entertainment. They've got no health and no security. Oh god, no one's living there. I don't know how to get your health stuff though until I can. Okay, we're into year two. Hang on. Let's look at our development. Hmm. No, I can't get into the new age, the new cycle. I need to get into the new cycle so that I can. <laughs> so we can learn these things. Oh, we had a sandstorm, did we? Okay, I didn't even notice. <laughs> What's workers' morale out now? 65. We're almost there. I don't know what else to do. I don't think there is anything we can do. Okay. kitchen still working? I'll take two people out of the kitchen. There we go. At least you're fishing. And what are you doing? You can gather mushrooms as well as the meat. What about the main hall? So, roots and branches. We need a population of 50. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, darn. Okay, we're going to struggle. We are going to struggle. Mm -hmm. I feel like, though, I've learned heaps. Oh my god, there's 24, 22 people in the graveyard. Eesh. 
We don't have any drink or dairy, but apparently they're still happy. We've got heaps of um, heaps of electricity, which is great. Oh, unending preparation. Oh, they want me to stock 5,000 water and 1,200 of simple meals. I mean, that's what we're aiming for, man. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, whether we'll get there, I don't know. I mean, the water's fine. It's the simple meals that might be a little bit tricky, but I think we're okay. We might get there. I don't know what else to do. Let's speed up time and hope that they have some babies, honestly. What's this? Hang on. Let's pause. Projected renewal rate of resources for next spring based on precipitation. Oh god, we're heading for extreme drought. Okay, well we don't have... We don't have farms or anything, so... Come on. Oh no, a building's on fire? Holy dooly. Oh, we did get an objective though. We got our morale up, which is awesome. Okay, dudes, put that fire out. Wait. Oh, I have to choose? Okay. We must prevent the fire. Yes, well, <laughs> I think it's too late for that. We need a full response. A balanced response or do nothing? I think we need a full response. I'm not... I can't risk this. Yes, get your hoses out. Look at you guys go. Oh no, is this is this how it ends? Is this how it ends? We just go up in flames? Dudes, more fire. I mean, not fire, no, no. More water, not fire. <laughs> we need more, more water. Oh dear me. Eek. Okay. I th oh no. Oh no. I think we lost our lumber mill. <laughs> okay. Let's rebuild it. It's fine. As long as we can rebuild, that's okay, I think. Oh no. Now we've only got 17 population. Are you joking? I bet people died from the fire. Ugh, they did. That's so inconvenient. How dare you die? <laughs> Why are you sitting in the camp? What? Oh, sugar, are you joking? A building has been struck by lightning. That's our kitchen. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> disaster strikes. Yeah, why? Dude, I don't understand this. Why are you sitting in a camp? There's houses here. Are they terrible? What's... Oh god, we got nobody to work at the lumber mill. Okay. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this was an utter failure. But... At least we worked out what the problem was. And now I know I can increase the morale a little bit more. Let's change the distribution of these now to regular. I feel like we should be okay with a regular distribution. There we go. What we really need is we need a whole bunch of new um, immigrants, please. That would be really good. <laughs> Alright, who can we take off? I feel like we don't need all this iron ore. Let's take one guy off that and we'll put him here. What about this one? Uh, let's not have you doing that. Let's have you helping with the lumber. Yeah, I think I think that should be fine. Oh look, these guys are getting heaps of food, which is great. So, food isn't our problem. Which is good. Unless you're apparently trying to make fish dishes. Let's make the meat one instead. <laughs> Okay, so specialization. We've accumulated a massive pool of knowledge, but it largely remains undirected and unrealized. We need to train individuals with more advanced knowledge. Okay. We should train craftsmen as soon as we can. 
we need to set some standards such as separating various fields of work and establishing the necessary qualifications. Yes, I think so. Let's do it. So we need to develop vocational training and build a technical boot camp. Does that mean that we've entered the next... No. Ah, gosh. Okay, we haven't ex actually entered the next... The new cycle, so... I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually do anything. Nope. Can't do the vocational camp yet. Look at it. We're losing people. We've only 14 people. I noticed the tavern's still going, though. <laughs> right, this feels like a little bit of a slow death, honestly. Unless they start producing people. Oh, we've had people die. All right. This has been... I wouldn't say this has been a failure, but definitely not good. I mean... Oh, wait. Strangers. Please tell me there's about 20 of you. There's five. Okay, welcome. You're gonna... <laughs> it's not gonna be good, guys. <laughs> um, so... I think... Yeah, everyone's just sort of going to the graveyard permanently. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to call it quits here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again. Start from scratch. I know how to increase morale, etc. I feel like this has given me a really good base for some more um, new cycle. So join me on the next one, guys. I hope this was a somewhat entertaining. Let's see if we can do it and actually progress a little bit further um, in the next episode of New Cycle. Thanks so much for joining me. Give the video a like. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you in the next video of New Cycle. Take care, everyone. Bye.